As you may or may not know, Spyderco offers a full repair service even for knives that had been seriously abused. In this video, I'll be showing you a knife that I rescued off of eBay that itself had been seriously abused by a previous owner. They had attempted to grind a new edge profile on it. I sent it into Spyderco, and we'll see if the service is up to snuff. My Spyderco arrived in a large box filled with letter, warranty information, and promotional literature. The personalized letter I received stated that they had repaired the knife to the best of their capability. This was an old knife, a clip at rescue, that I had gotten off of eBay and was seriously beat up. Along with the letter came warranty information, and this is just good to know for you if you're going to be sending a knife in for warranty. Spyderco offers repairs and service for any manufacturing defect, of course, but they also offer a full repair service, including a blade sharpening and a clip replacement. But beyond that, they offer a full repair service for knives that have been seriously damaged, abused, in other words. Spyderco doesn't replace blades, but they do offer to reprofile blades. And the knife that I had received needed that reprofiling. I'll show you the swag they sent real quick. A nice 2014 catalog with full of lots of information on ice. My little boy loved that one that game. Uh, Meteor product guide. This is actually a poster. Uh, Spyderco posters is so funny. This one has a nice image of the uh, Rubicon, the new uh, carry flipper that Spyderco is coming out with. A very cool looking knife with contoured carbon fiber handles. And all the other interesting new models that are coming out. It's uh, definitely something that I'll be happy to hang up in my shop or something, or maybe just hang on to for collective reasons. There is also a price guide, which uh, honestly I was a little surprised that they sent retail prices to me. I'm not sure why that would be something that's of importance. And then they sent the knife. Here it is, a clip at rescue, and they noticeably didn't send it in a Spyderco box. Taking it out of the box, I was very curious to see how they were going to be repairing this blade. You see, this was a serrated blade originally, and a previous owner had actually ground off those serrations and attempted to put a new edge on it. But the edge was so uneven and so dull and just a terrible edge that I decided to send it in just to see how they would reprofile this edge. You'll notice that the rest of the handle and the blade itself was showing lots of other signs of wear. Popping the blade open, you can see that evidence of wear is still present throughout the blade. Uh, specifically on the primary bevel, you can really see there was quite a bit of wear that had happened through a previous owner. You can also see a very wide, new, and very sharp secondary bevel. This knife, with its FRN handles and interesting blade profile, kind of sits in between the Delca and the Endura in size, and it's a great size to carry. So that's the reason why I'm interested in getting it restored. It also sort of has a nice finger choil, as you might notice, between the FRN handle and the blade. It was uh, pretty dirty when I received it, actually. There's still evidence of uh, grind dust on the blade after I had received it. And they had definitely not cleaned up some of the scratches on the rest of the blade. They had also replaced the old-fashioned style uh, pocket clip with a newer, larger spoon pocket clip. And while I was happy to get one that was clean and didn't have any uh, paint missing from the clip, uh, you can see that they actually kind of messed up the FRN scale a little bit when they were installing the clip. Again, it's just a, a little bit of sloppy repair, in my opinion. So overall, the knife is an interesting one because it was really a basket case when I received it. And they've definitely brought it back up into serviceable order. And they've actually tweaked it a little bit so that it falls freely and seems to have good action. But despite the good action, it was actually not very well centered. Another issue on the knife that they didn't seem to catch was the fact that there was rust spots in a number of places on the knife. And those rust spots, although minor and could easily be cleaned off, which I will be doing, they were not repaired. Here's a shot showing the extent of wear so present on the blade after the blade's reprofiling. Considering that I paid $25 for this, including shipping and handling for the return, I'm not really sure I'm happy with this service. There are still a number of cosmetic issues with the blade, the FRN handle is a little messed up, and the blade is not properly centered. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks a lot for watching.